In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a problem that Tesla Vision has that the ultrasonic sensor cars do not have. And it concerns backing this car into the garage without hitting the side of the garage door. The problem is very simple. The car nicely and accurately displays the distance and shows that I'm getting close to the side but it doesn't sound any warning tones, which means I must pay attention to the display if I want to get any help from the car in not hitting the side of the garage door opening. First, here's backing into the garage with the Tesla Vision car. Okay, I'm going to go closer to the side than I usually do and see when it starts to give me some tones. And you can see right now the red is showing and that's fine but the car is only eight inches. The side view mirror is only five inches from the side and it's not giving me any audio warnings. So this is now three inches away. Got the red, that's great, but I want to hear the tones. Wondered if maybe I changed the color of the side of the garage door, whether the Tesla Vision would register it and give tones. So I put paper on it to change it. Uh, it didn't make any difference, but I'll show you what happened. I'll come in just a little bit closer than usual. And it's red, but it's not beeping. It will beep when we start to get close to something at the end, and that's great. It starts to beep around 24 inches. Uh, let's see, I didn't even tell me to stop. Yeah, that's great. That's what I want. Only it's not doing it for the side. Let me get really close here. That is like two inches from the side of the wall. Now I'll show you how I get the tones when I'm driving the, so the car with the ultrasonic there. sensors. This car, and you'll see that I'll get those nice tones. Warning me I'm getting pretty close, but not so close that I have to stop. Backing in every day, I get to know what the tones mean. I don't have to actually look at the screen. An important point from this video is that the Tesla engineers could fix this problem simply with software. In other words, the car knows that something is very close on the side. It's just not giving the warning tones that it should.